My name is Tammy Nordic, and I'm an Extension Educator in Minnesota. I am bringing you another fun activity that you can do at your club meeting. This activity can be done either virtually or it can be done in person. It is making a helicopter. So first of all, um, what you will need for supplies are a scissor, scotch tape, paper clips, got two different sizes, large and small, a penny or any coin. This is the club leader guide. So this video complements this leader guide. So this will help you. You can take, use this video either to show it at a club meeting, um, you can show it, share it virtually, or you as a club leader can just watch it and use it as support for the document. And you will also need this paper template. That is, the link is on the club leader guide. So first of all, we want to find out well, how do helicopters fly? Um, when a helicopter's blade goes around and around, it generates lift. Well, our helicopters will not generate lift. They are going to fall from the sky, but when they're falling from the sky, they're going to twirl. So we're going to learn a little bit about spinning helicopters. Um, and first of all, before you start this, you want to talk to the kids and say, what do you know about helicopters? Have you ever ridden in a helicopter? Um, what makes a helicopter different than an airplane? Um, you know, just ask them and find out what they know about helicopters. You'll be surprised. Maybe some of, you know, maybe somebody's even ridden in one. So um, we're going to start with that. And then we're going to start our project. Um, on our template sheet here, there's three different size helicopters. Um, we're going to cut out the large one. You can, the kids can do whichever one they want, but one of the things they must be mindful of is you can see there is solid lines and there is little dotted lines. We only, only, only want to cut on the solid lines, okay? So I'm going to take my scissor and it's just going to be kind of a long rectangle and this should be an easy activity for kids to do, cutting out their helicopter. Remember, stay on the solid lines, okay? That's what we want to do. If you have younger kids, maybe kindergartners or preschoolers with their brothers and sisters who have trouble with this, help them out a little bit because we don't want them to kind of cut up their helicopters. Now on this, uh, so the square is gone. On this section, A and B, it's a solid line. So I'm going to take my scissor and I'm going to cut up that solid line to where there is a perforated dotted line. And if you look up here, there's a solid line here and a solid line here. So now we're gonna cut that and make sure the kids don't cut into our little dotted lines because that's gonna make the bottom of your helicopter not very strong. So what we're gonna do is on this bottom, we need this bottom portion to be a little thicker, okay? So I am going to bend this back. The only thing this is doing, it's gonna give us a little bit more of a handle to hang on to. And I'm gonna bend this one back. So now instead of one piece of paper here, we now have three. And then on the bottom, there you can see there's another, the dotted line. We're just gonna bend that up. It gives us a little bit of stronger area to hang our paper clips and stuff, okay? And when I bent that up, now I want to take some scotch tape and I just want to tape that bottom part up, okay? So now the bottom of our helicopter is ready. The top, we need to take our router, rotors or our, our fins and we want to bend one forward and one backwards. So they're gonna look like this. You can see one is forward, one is backwards. So basically our helicopter is now ready to fly. Kids have a couple options. First I would have them fly it just as it is without um, changing anything. So what they're going to do is they're gonna throw it up and when they, I'm gonna come around and so that I'm gonna turn my camera so that you guys can see when it comes down, it kind of flutters around. And it doesn't work very good without some weight. So they're going to find out when they're dropping this helicopter um, without weight on it, it really doesn't do very much. Okay? So then we are going to give them our options of a uh, large paper clip, small paper clip. So I'm going to hook a small paper clip or 
I'm going to do the large. And now they can throw it up and see what's going to happen. It's going to spin as it falls down. Now we're going to add some more weight to it. And now the question is, is it what's going to happen now? You know, is it going to spin faster? Um, so we're going to lift it way up, drop it down, and it spins faster when like that. So these are the, the why questions. Why does it spin faster when there's more weight? What happens if I went taller, if I went up higher? Um, these are great fun to throw over a deck if you have a tall deck or a stairway. Um, I have been known to let the kids stand on the table and throw them. They will spend hours and hours playing with these helicopters. Ask them, what happens if you redesign your, your routers or your, your flaps up here? And you bent them a different way. Can you make your helicopter go one way and then another, a different way? So this is just a really fast activity. What I said, they could do the, the large, or they could cut all three of them out and be throwing them around. After the activity is done, you want to have some reflection questions. You want to talk to the kids and say, you know, what, what happened with your helicopter when you didn't have weight on it? You might want to ask, what if your helicopter was outside and it was a really, really, really windy day? What would happen to it? Um, can you slow your helicopter down so it turns really slow and you can watch it? Um, just ask, how would you change your design of your helicopter? Many, many questions. And I have done this in after-school activities, in recruiting for 4-H activities. And this little piece of paper will give youth hours and hours of entertainment. Plus, they will learn some valuable lessons about engineering design and aerospace. Thank you for visiting with me, and I hope your club enjoys this activity.